Hello YouTube, hello friends. I know I was a long, long time gone, but I'm back. You guys wanted an update of my dog, like I know so, so, so many. First of all, thank you for more than 100,000 views on my vlog with my dog, Chiquito. Um, a lot of guys reached out to me and was asking if I could make an update on him, how he's doing. You guys also followed me on my um, Instagram, I am Vanessa Richardson. And you guys was asking me questions left and right. And I swear I felt so bad because I couldn't like make an update yet. Because I was like in stress, I had university, I just finished my bachelor. That's why I will um, continue with this video and give you guys the final update of my dog Chiquito. What I learned, because right now I have him for three and a half years. And I can really tell you guys what you should watch out for, what I learned what I did and all of those things like I really collected my whole thoughts and everything and I wanted to give you a little update but then we can also like make more videos about it for uh, topics that you guys are interested in that's why you have to just write me or like in the comments let me know what you want to know so I would say welcome to the update and let's jump right into it good boy he's even here Oh, what I wanted to tell you guys, first of all, uh, he had a little accident when he was four months old. Um, Chiquito like jumped wrongly from the chair and because he was like a puppy and only four months old, he, um, I don't know what happened, but he, he couldn't hold himself while he was jumping. It was only like 30 centimeter, but because of that, like he had like broken his arm. That's why we had a lot of issues. Um, if you want to have a story time on that, just leave um, me a comment. Because of this accident, I also learned a lot about um, how to care for a dog and yeah, also the kinds of problems that could happen or occur because of this accident, like secondary problems. That's why I will tell you everything I learned in my second part now. I have my little list here so I can really tell you everything. But like I said, because of this accident, we had a problem because he was getting operated and um, he had to stay one week in the clinic of the dogs we couldn't see him so when we came and picked him up he was very thin so my first mistake that I made <laughs> oh, definitely gave him the wrong food afterwards because I tried to um, make him fat again because like he was very very skinny because of the operation so what I did I gave him steak and all kinds of like treats because I didn't know I never had like a dog before and I didn't know how to make him fat again or like get him like to his normal weight because he was very 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 thin and um, not that I wanted to get him fat but just like to his normal level. Later on when I removed those treats or like went back to normal I had problems with him that he didn't want to eat his own food that he before ate perfectly. I can make a whole video about food as well because I really also learned all about that stuff. So if you want to have a video on that, just let me know. The first tip I can give you guys is to not give your dog too many treats, food that you don't plan on giving him for the rest of his life because he will like get used to it and then you have a problem. My second tip that I can give you guys is to be clear if you want to have your dog sleep in your bed or not. Because you have to be clear about that. Once you make him sleep in your bed, that's like a one for all lifetime decision. Tip number three. Don't give your dog food from the table. If you start with that, it will exactly be as the bed situation it's a one for all lifetime decision. So if you give him food from the table, he will remember that, he will come back and it will be an ongoing situation. So don't start. I would say just like, if you want to give him something from the table, wait until you're done eating with your family and then afterwards you can take his bowl, put something in and then put it in the bowl and then just give it from the bowl because then he associates the bowl with the food. Tip number four. I had some issues with barking with Chiquito. I also got a sister, as some of you may know, she doesn't have the barking problem as much as he does. Maybe it's because he's male. If your puppy is starting to bark, like try to teach him that he shouldn't bark all the time. And um, like there's a lot of YouTube videos you can like watch 
um, from like really professionals that um, like train dogs not to bark all the time. So I would definitely try to look into that and not let him like have it and then like decide once he's grown like now it's time for you to stop barking because it will not work. Tip number five socialization with other dogs. To be social with other dogs is also very important, especially when they're puppies, um, because I remember Chiquito used to bark at other dogs, just like random. We went to the park walking and he was just like, in his first summer, um, he was really barking at all the dogs, like all the time. And I was like, oh lord, he needs to be socialized. So uh, what I did, I looked in parks for people that also have like small dogs and his size. I saw them in the park and I just talked to random people that have small dogs and then they played. So I tried to socialize him. I also looked into going to a school for dogs to just like let him play with other puppies and also dogs in his size. Because I feel like it's better to let him play from the beginning with dogs that are also in the same smaller size. Definitely look into um, playing playing with other dogs, playing with small dogs if you have a small dog, if you have a big dog just let him play with big dogs or small dogs. <laughs> Definitely socialize your dog when they're young. Tip number six, go to the school for dogs. I just said it in the tip number five that you could look into it. If you feel like your dog is uh, being a little bit too like not aggressive but like forward and is barking too much as a puppy, maybe it's really good to go to the dog school because um, you also learn a lot of things from the owner of the school, from the trainers and they maybe can give you also tips on your dog, on your puppy if you have the feeling you don't have much experience with dogs. Tip number seven, always, 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 and I can't stress this enough, always brush the teeth of your dog. I did always brush his teeth in the beginning, every day, and then I slacked and I saw it right away. I, you can see it, you can tell. So I was in shock, like how fast it went. And I really um, tried to brush his teeth twice a day, morning and evening, or like once a day. It's easier to begin with the um, finger, um, like cotton something, I don't know how it's called. You can like brush it easier and you have more grip, but then later on you can like use the normal brush if he gets used to it. And if you guys want some links, I can also link brushes and stuff like that. I will link something for you guys. Tip number eight. Clothing, my favorite topic. For small dogs like Chihuahuas, they used to shiver. Like they shiver on the normal basis. So I got him a lot of clothing. I love dog clothing because if you have a Chihuahua, he's shivering because he's like small, he doesn't have much fat. And if you can um, put something on him, he will be so thankful. He likes clothing. If I put something on him, he's not shivering no more, he's just relaxed. You can really feel his whole um, body language is changing because he's not freezing, because he has something on. And I mean, it makes sense, right? If he's cold, then he needs something to wear. So I got him a lot of stuff and, and I really love dog clothing. Like, I feel like it's fashionable but also functional because he wants to wear it. If I would have a dog that has long hair, and is like sweating all the time. I would not put any clothes on him, of course, but he really likes it, so I make it cute, you know? If you want, um, I can also make a video on that and show you guys all the clothing that he has. So if you want that, like a little um, style haul, then definitely leave it in the comments and I will make one. Yeah, so um, that was definitely the most important things that I learned. But I didn't go like into more depth with all that. I just thought like I'd give you guys a little quick update on him. I still have more tips for you guys, so let's start with that. Another tip that I can give you guys, if you buy clothing, um, always look that it has like a little cut in the back because you can put your leash to it and it's easier for your dog. You know, you don't have to be like all the way up here. You can just like put it through it, easy. That's why I would always watch for that. Otherwise you can make it yourself, but like just, I mean, buy it with it. Okay, sit. And stay good boy also a good tip is when you have your dog walking outside in general no matter what weather it is um, because I also let him sleep in my bed I really like I'm picky about that um, but if he comes home what I do is I take a baby wipe and wipe all his feet trust me just start with it when he's a puppy because you will never have any problems I just tell him like Let's make you clean and he will come to me even from himself and I'll make him clean and you have nothing to worry. Baby vibes, boom, perfect. Another tip, how you drive in the car with your dog. This is also a one-time thing. If you decide that you want to have your dog on your lap all the time, 
then it's fine. Just know it will stay like that. One thing that I learned, if you have a dog and he don't likes to cut his nails and he hates it, like he doesn't like to cut his nails at all, what I do is I cut each nail by the day, like one nail a day, because he really hates it and he doesn't let me do it. So I don't try to force him and go to the doctor and let him do it. That's why I just cut literally one nail a day and like it's over with and he already forgot it. Next day I can do it again. So you will have like a couple days to do, but I mean at the end it's better than nothing, right? So that's really a tip for me that I find very useful. Then what I do, a super duper tip, uh, when he has to take medicine, because right now he also has to take his tablet against uh, worms. When I give it to him, he doesn't want to take it like that. Of course not. But what I do, I take some like meat and I put the tablet in it and I just roll it and then I just give it to him. And he just eats it right away without any problems. I tried it with cheese, it doesn't work that much because I feel like the cheese doesn't um, cover it enough. But the meat works. It saved my ass so many times because he was not taking this medicine at all. We almost come to the end, but I have another tip for you guys. If you want to learn your puppy tricks, do it right away when he's a puppy. Because they learn very fast and he learned so many tricks. I will put some b-rolls in on tricks that he can do. But he can like do funny things like roll over, like um, give the paw, um, sit, wait, hold food in his mouth until they say he can eat it. Like all kinds of nice tricks. So always learn your dog tricks when he's small. What you can also do is like uh, give your dog a game. Because they have like different types of cool dog games in which your dog has to learn and like... I don't know, like solve problems and stuff like that. It's really fun and it's also good for your dog to stay mentally like awake. And my really last, last, last tip um, that I would give you guys is because I had those problems with this arm, I had a lot of visits at the vet. And what I learned with vets is that they have different, in Germany we call it GOT Sätze. It's the type of how they charge you like they can do it once twice or three times it's like it differs from the vet from everything else from the location of the vet like which type of group your vet uses to charge if he charges the three times it's obviously more expensive so always look into it because you can maybe just like drive one town further and your veterinarian is 50% cheaper. Definitely learned that. <laughs> so if you like those tips, you can definitely let me know which one you like the most. If you want to hear more from us, you can definitely let me know. And if you guys want to have uh, a detailed lookbook of this clothing that I got for him, just let me know as well. I can make a whole detailed video about that. I will love that. And yeah, guys, um, it's been a long time. I learned way, way, way more, but I just didn't want to overload this video. So if you have specific questions, just come back to me and just let me know just comment like I would love to also know your guys's experience with dogs what did you learn maybe you have a tip that I didn't share that is useful for me as well so just like let me know yeah and I'm like happy to see you guys again on this channel and I will definitely make more dog content for you guys because I really also enjoy to make dog content and I feel like I have to cover more of that definitely so if you guys liked the video, just like subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video and maybe you can also follow me on my other social media, I will link it down below. So many of you guys reached out to me, I'm so happy of like seeing you guys again. Connect with me and I wish you a nice day, bye!